everybody! My name is Anna and welcome back to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So today I am going to show you how I treat my plants when I spot some mealy bugs on them. So this is my Rebusha cactus. So this was gifted to me about a month ago and when I got it, it was bare root and I saw that it had a few mealy bugs on them not too much just a little bit so what i did was i sprayed it with the alcohol solution before i planted it in this pot now i thought i killed all the mealy bugs but apparently i did not and this morning when i was inspecting my plant i found mealy bugs on it so as you can see those white fluffy stuff those are mealy bugs now mealy bugs i hate them they're so irritating because they're one of the smartest pests that pests that i have dealt with in the garden they are so smart guys because this pot is overwintering in my garage at the moment so i had this against the wall like that in this direction so this is the side that i always see when i inspect my plants so as you can see you see nothing it looks clean it looks perfectly fine but when i turned around the pot as you see right here all the mealy bugs are hiding at the back at the side where i don't see them so they are so smart they know how to hide so anyway i'm going to show you now how i treat my plants whenever i see mealy bugs on them so what i am going to use for today is number one toothpick and then i have my alcohol right here and i also have a neem oil so let me show you what i do with these pesky mealy bugs now looking at it closer i'm wondering now if this is actually a single mealy bug or if it is a nest of a mealy bug because when mealy bugs lay their eggs and make a nest they also wrap it with like a cottony substance so this is actually quite big to be a single mealy bug so it might be a nest of mealy bugs eggs but for whatever it is i'm gonna take it off and deal with it so here is a more close-up look of that thing that we took out of the cactus. So viewers also ask me how would they know if it's actually a mealy bug or just some dirt on their cactus. So what I tell them is try the squish test. That's what I do, a squish test. So what you do is you squish this on a piece of paper and if a fluid comes out, then you know it's an insect or it's a mealy bug but if it just crushes and turns into a powder then it could be just a perlite or rock or dirt on your cactus so let's try the squish test right now so here is that little insect and i'm just gonna lay it on a piece of paper and squish it Aha, so you see, Ugh. it is definitely a mealy bug. So as you can see, fluids came out of it. So it is an insect, it's definitely alive. So that's how you can tell that you definitely have a mealy bug on your plant and it's not just some kind of perlite. For comparison, this is actually a piece of perlite. And when I squeeze on it, you'll see that it just turns into powder and no fluid comes out. So that's how you know that it is just a piece of perlite and not an actual insect. Here is the other bug right here. So I'm gonna take this out just like I did with the other one. And then we're gonna put it on a piece of paper and give it a squish oh hey you know what it is actually giving out 
a red dye hold on let me try it on a white paper hmm come to think of it i think what i have here may actually be not a mealy bug but a cochineal uh, cochineal scale so cochineal is actually um an insect that is farmed uh, to produce dye so they look very similar to a mealy bug they're also white and they have a cottony substance around their body but if you squish them it will give you a red dye just like this one so maybe that explains why they are extra or super fluffier than a regular mealy bug so i am not a hundred percent sure but now it makes me think that i probably have a cochineal insect on my cactus or a cochineal scale and not a mealy bug but whatever it is they're both not good for my cactus now cochineal insects are usually found on opuntia pads so actually those who farm them to produce dye for food for clothing or for whatever for producing dye they usually use opuntia pads i had an encounter with them before on one of my choya choya cactus and i was able to treat it using an alcohol and a dishwashing solution another thing that you can use is just plain insecticidal soap it will also work on cochineal insects so for whatever i have in here whether it's a mealybug or a cochineal scale i will be using the same treatment as i do with my mealy bugs so here's another one right here this actually sucked the life out of this little pop right here so let's see if this one will produce the same red dye yeah a little bit it is colored it is red dye as well so i think these are cochineal um scale i didn't know that they can grow on, on rebutia but i guess it doesn't matter what type of cactus so yeah so let me treat this now um for this little one i think this is a goner so i will just take that out so I will just keep inspecting this cactus and see if I missed out some and then I'm going to show you how I treat it. So I inspected this cactus closely and I think I was able to remove all the insects in it and now I am ready to treat it. So what I'm going to use is an alcohol solution. So in my alcohol solution, I use 60% alcohol. 40% water and a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid. Now I used 70% uh, isopropyl alcohol here but if you have a stronger alcohol like a 90% alcohol you might want to put a little more water maybe go 50-50 or 40% alcohol and 60% water. Now some actually spray alcohol directly on their plants but I do tend to be on the more conservative side so I mix it with water there are some plants that are very sensitive so when you spray it with pure alcohol they would actually burn so i tend to be on the more conservative side and always mix my alcohol with water so this is my solution with dishwashing liquid um, i don't have a horticultural soap right now so i am using dishwashing liquid and i'm just gonna spray this on the cactus and soak it really well okay also spray the top of the soil just to make sure if there are bugs or insects on top or eggs you can actually treat them as well okay and just like that and by the way i also made a video a while back about um, dealing with mealybugs and the weapons that i use to prevent mealybugs or to fight mealybugs so if you want to 
check that video out i'll put a link up on the screen so you can go ahead it's more extensive uh, discussion about how you can deal with mealy bugs which also works for cochineal scales like this it will also work for them so go ahead and check out that video if you haven't watched it yet and then the next step that i'm going to do is i am going to water this with a neem oil extract solution so this is my solution right here so just follow the instructions on the bottle that you have because it all depends on how concentrated your neem oil is so for this one it requires two tablespoons per gallon so just mix it accordingly so in this bottle i have water neem oil and i also have a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid so i used warm water because oil and water don't mix but if it's warm water it's easier to mix them together and the dishwashing solution is an emulsifier it uh, breaks down the oil and makes it easier to mix with the water so this one instead of spraying it since i already sprayed this cactus with the alcohol solution i am just going to use it to drench the soil okay normally um if you have an infestation you would the ideal solution is to take the cactus out of the pot and treat the roots as well with the alcohol solution but in this case i told you i just planted this a month ago and i already treated the roots with alcohol so i don't want to disturb this cactus right now because it is winter well almost winter right here um it's technically still fall but we're just a few days away for winter so what i'm going to do is i'm not gonna remove it from the soil instead i'm just gonna drench the soil or water it with this neem oil solution Okay. so neem oil will work over time it's not an instant kill to the insects not like an alcohol but this works long term because this works when the insects ingest them that's when it starts working in their system and it stops them from reproducing so after i water this with the neem oil solution what i am going to do is i will keep this inside the house where it's a little warmer just to give it time for the soil to dry out and so that's it i would probably be spraying it with another round of alcohol solution after maybe a two uh, two days just to make sure i got everything i ha got all the insects killed so i would probably do that after two days but as for now that is it for this video so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants and until my next video guys bye and cheers